Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, August 15th. Can you believe that we are halfway through August already? It is just blowing my mind how quickly we are moving through this month. <clears throat> Real quick note, later in the week, Thursday we'll be out. Uh, Blake's moving to college, so we will be out pretty much all day. I'll be here in the morning, uh, get us going, and then I'll be out the rest of the day getting, you know, the vehicle all packed up and moving her into her dorm. Yay! And then on Friday is a um, field trip for Lexi and I am going, so I will be at Build-A-Bear. Uh, that's just not my favorite place, but she's going to love it. So pretty excited about that. So those two days I will be gone. I'll be here in the, like I said, I'll be here in the morning, get us going, and then I'll be gone the rest of the day. All right, so here's a look at our S&P future. So I have this on the weekly calendar, and the reason I did this is so that you can see our candle over candle. So we do have the possibility that this could still turn into a bear flag on the long, a little bit longer of a term. But in the near term, off of this smaller bear flag, we've now worked our way back above this previous high. So we've set in a new high and we've set in some nice higher lows. Now we did do this on slightly lighter volume, um, maybe not the best of volume, but not too terrible right this is the S&P so the S&P looks a little bit different because that volume does look a little bit lighter versus the ES but I always suggest going back and looking at the ES because that actually gives all the data that um, that does take place after market hours and of course the ES being futures trade almost all the time all right here's the spy chart coming from last week right so we put in Actually, this was a lower low, but we were looking at that. We watched this trend line. We put in a higher low at the 50. We came across, we consolidated, and then we took off. So we do have this gap sitting here that we definitely have to be concerned about. And we have a bit of, um, little, just a little bit of space here before we hit this longer term trend line. But look at that 200 just ahead. So we're going to keep an eye on both of those. I'm just going to take this one off right now, and I'll draw it in a little bit more correct, uh, a little bit more accurately. Um, but for right now, this is a good look. We taking a natural pause. We had gotten very um, oversold here, so or um, oh, I'm sorry, overbought here. So not a surprise that we're taking a little bit of a break. We also have news out of China, so they went ahead and cut their interest rates, which we did not. I don't think we were really expecting that. I was not expecting it, and. Um, Saudi Aramco has decided they will put more output out, which is energy. So we are seeing a bit of weakness kind of across the board in that. And then we can see that really transpired here in the um, the oil. Now I am in Oxy and I'm going to give this a day and kind of see where it goes from here um, and then decide if I'm going to stop out. But it's coming right back to this area where we've tested before. So I'm going to keep an eye on this. Um, uh, throughout the day so but again uh, you have to assess your risk and your pain that you, you're willing to sit through all right but in other news overall markets are not performing poorly we are coming in here you know like I said this is the Monday taking a little break Chinese markets kind of giving us a eh, the um, the European markets are tepidly green here this morning just a smidgen so we will see what, again what this all kind of transpires into we have retail earnings this week a lot of retail earnings this week and of course that will affect the market but other than that there's not a ton we're not looking at like a CPI number now until next week next month rather and then of course PPI will come back out monthly labor report those are really the next big steps I think uh, we do have Fed speakers out and about so there's no Fed meeting this month though uh, they take August off, so we don't have to worry about that necessarily until next month. Okay, but there we go. There's the futures. What am I watching today? Taking a step into healthcare. Yes, okay, so I know someone's going to look at me and be like, are you crazy? Look at how much that has gone. I know. Looking for a little bit of a pullback and then a push on this. Really just a news-driven um play and I didn't find a ton of plays other than what we already normally watch you know with maybe like the fang plays things like that but I kind of like this look in here would like to see a little bit of a pullback and then a push and this one has 
oddly good uh, options right now. Typically, it's pretty quiet. So I like the 916, and I like either the 19 or the 20 call. Entry at 1908, stop at 1799, which I know is pretty tight, but that's where I like it. And playing for a push to 2143, that would be a breakout on VERU. All right, and we have TTD, totally different area. I went from healthcare here, now sitting over here in technology. This had a great bullish gap off of earnings. We've used that 200, pushed up, took a little bit of a pause, came right back, met that on Friday with a little bit of a, a push here, of course, off lower volume from that um, that earnings candle. So I really like the look here in TTD. And I would like to hop in there around 70, oh, the 50, 75 call, sorry. TTD 75 call around 74.50 is where I would look to enter. Close it if it comes back and closes below the 3 EMA. And um, I would target 76.34, 77.23, and then all the way up to 83.42. All right, some others I didn't set up. Those are the only two I really set up. Um, AMD, love this look in here. Now, they're, like I said, they're a little bit under pressure, but right, bull flag, bull flag, looking for this to to uh, play out, continue it, continue, sorry, Ugh, continue that bull flag here this morning. Take a look at Apple. There was some news out about their phone and sales are going to be fine. So take a look in there. Boeing, like this little look, we went from this consolidation. Now we put in an inside candle here. That looks quite delightful. So I like the look in BA. Lithium, this would be, so these just breaking out from the recent, actually this is a pretty decent inverted head and shoulders as well that is playing out. We're about to marry up this candle, so we may see a little bit of a pullback, but I like the look in uh, lithium, LTHM. Tesla, looking to come back up here and test the 200 again. I like the look in there, and they talked about um, how many vehicles that they were able to get out, and one third of those were in China. Air B and B, nice inside candle here on Friday after a little bit of a bullish gap. A little pause and a go here. I like the look in Air B and B. And Disney, so Disney had good earnings. Bullish gap, sold it off that day, which is not uncommon, especially given this big of a move. But look at that, we came right back in on Friday with a nice push. I like this up over Friday's candle for a test of the 123.50 area and a continuation. So those are a few that I'm watching here this morning. We are seeing some of those meme names really come back into play like Bed Bath & Beyond and those. So keep an eye on those if you're looking to just take a quick play. Probably would not want to hold those overnight. All right, that is it for me here. I hope you have an awesome day. If you have any questions, Heather C at GivingTreeTrading.com.